This is the new open spot two. Thing is nice, little compact. Uh, looks like new version here has no Ethernet jack, just your reset button and USB C. Uh, nice, thin, compact. You have that, some foam padding, looks like some stickers. And then you also have your wall wart with adapters and a cable. So let's see if we can't fire this thing up and I'll show you how to get it set up quick and easy on your Android phone. Okay, you just plug in your USB cord that's provided. I'm gonna be using a power bank today for this demonstration. So just plug it in. The unit powers up. I'm gonna change the mode here. And then it'll turn white. And then we go to the phone here. You'll see the open spot two. We'll click on it. Say connect. It'll connect. It'll take us here to the hotspot two dashboard. Okay, so welcome. Uh, we'll be doing an initial setup. We're in the United States here. So we'll hit next. It'll ask you for which Wi Fi you want to set up. So I'll hit connect and I will type in my password. typed in my password hit connect it says it is now connecting to this Wi-Fi network okay so then we'll go back here and once it connects to your Wi-Fi, you will go to the sharkrf.link on your phone. Um, you'll type in your device UD, since I've already done it. It'll save it down here. I'll hit connect. I bring the dashboard back up. I have no call log entries yet. Um, you can clear your log. Once you do, export your call log. And it gives you what mode, frequency, your server IP. Um, it tells all your open spot hardware, firmware, uh, BER rate. Click here. You can go to connectors. You can select DMR, D-Star, Fusion, 
NXDN, P25, Poxag, Shark RF. So we will do DMR. Type in my frequency here. Um, I'll be using the United States server uh, call sign which when you initially first do this it'll ask for your call sign it'll bring up your DMR ID make sure that's correct uh, if you have NXDN it'll also automatically put that in make sure that's also correct so we'll hit save We'll turn on the DMR handheld. Open spot connected to Brandmeister 3101. So now we're connected here. Go up on TAC 310. Once I keyed up here, it shows me. So once anybody connects to TAC 310, it'll also show their call sign. Um, that shows your bear rate. Mine's 1.2%, which is good. Um, nobody's on here currently. So I'll disconnect. We'll try another. We'll try. All right. Well, we went to TAC 310. Found some activity here. So as you can see on the dashboard status, it tells you who's talking, just the same as it does here on the handheld. So we will disconnect here. Okay, we're not linked on DMR anymore. So we will now do the fusion. Go back to connectors. We are going to switch here to C4FM. Keep the same frequency. Um, we will, I could cross mode from Fusion to DMR, but to make this easy, I'll just go to FCS. Um, which room you wanted to go to? I'm going to go America Link. I hit save. And then we will go to switch selected. It should come up here on the radio. Connected to XCS three room ninety. Okay, so now we are connected to the America Link. Mobile and monitoring in Illinois on America Link. Okay. So, as you see, it's working perfectly. Morning, K6 UDA in California. There's Bob, K6 UDA. Yeah, this is Kenny United here in Illinois. How are you this morning? Oh, real good. Just, uh, just getting up to uh, all this news about uh, about a shooting out here and uh, all this stuff going on back. So as you can see, it pops up here on the uh, status page. If you want to change, 
you can go back you can cross mode to DMR or D star you have your different tools you can look up people uh, ID both on DMR and XDN uh, here's where you do your manual updates no updates are found currently it just updated yesterday automatically you have your modem settings to change to your mode your frequency here's where you type in your other information configure your profile and type in your information if you want and uh, your DMR settings and XDN settings if you want to reboot so Go back load. So uh, there you go. We uh, successfully powered up the Open Spot 2. Both had uh, DMR and Fusion C4FM. Both going pretty quickly. Uh, you can also do it on your desktop browser if you want. I usually use my phone because I'm going to be using this mobile. So I won't ever use the desktop. But uh, this thing's nice, compact, boots really fast. And things, so. I also have the MMDVM Pi Star based hotspot. But if you're wanting something quick, easy, nice interface, this is the way to go. So uh, thanks for watching and 73s.